Right now at 8, concerns over care in the Rockaways, the funding families want to see in order to save more lives. Good evening, I'm Dick Brennan. A rally in the Rockaways today for a trauma center to serve the community. Right now, trauma patients need to be taken to Jamaica Hospital. As Christy Kalishian reports, many people worry that 10-mile trip could be putting lives in jeopardy. Every second counts in the event of an emergency. For the over 120,000 residents in the Rockaways, seconds turn into almost an hour to reach the nearest trauma center. We don't want to go so far to get our help. Letitia Del Valle lives in Far Rockaway, which is about 10 miles away from Jamaica Hospital, the peninsula's nearest hospital with a trauma center. We need it right here where we are, just like everybody else. Back in March, Officer Jonathan Diller died after he was shot during a traffic stop in Far Rockaway. Away. PBA President Patrick Hendry believes a closer trauma center could have saved him. It, it needs to happen sooner than later. We need to save lives like Jonathan wanted to do. You do not have 40 minutes to go to the nearest trauma hospital. You will bleed out. People bleed out in minutes. And yet at the same time, it can be stopped. Dr. Mitchell Katz and Council Member Sylvina Brooks Powers head the Far Rockaway Trauma and Health Access Task Force, which has helped secure $25 million in the city's fiscal year 2025 capital budget to help push plans forward. Now taking it to the next step where you have great state lawmakers can go to Albany and fight to make sure we bring this home and land the plane of getting the trauma center here. Del Valle says this is at least the fourth time she's seen calls for the center to be built. This time, she's optimistic. Well, I see is more people out, more bigger faces, so hopefully it gets somewhere now. As for where the trauma center would go, the task force says it's still conducting assessments on a few locations, trying to find a vacant lot that's near public transportation and not too close to any residences. And for Rockaway, Queens, Christy Kalishian, CBS News, New York. Now, a spokesperson for Governor Hochul's office told us in a statement that the state has delivered hundreds of millions of dollars to support local and health and hospital resources in the Rockways and is committed to ensuring the best health outcomes for Queens residents and all New Yorkers.